Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. Let's see if I can run these 20 amp Speedix ESCs on a 6S battery. Everything on this quad should be able to handle 6S except for the 20 amp ESCs, which say 2 to 4S. Motors in these props aren't going to draw more than uh, 80 amps, so it should be able to handle the amp draw. But can it handle the voltage? Let's find out. This, this might smoke. Let me unplug this shit quick. Oh, I'm a little freaking scared. Check my, check my camera. No smoke. <laughs> Let's see if it can take off. You watch that live with, with me. This is the first time I plugged it in. Damn, that was scary. Don't do this shit at home, y'all. I think it's going to fly. Let's get a close up. All y'all out there with some old builds like this. With some old Speedix 20 amp ESCs, you might be able to run those on 6S. You never know until you try. Let's see if it flies. Has a old Mad Hatter. It's got a X Racer SPI F3 flight controller in it. These are my F40 Pro V1 1600 kV motors that I took off the other Mad Hatter. See how she does. It's got an old Amway 200 milliwatt in there somewhere. Of course, those run up 28 volts, no problem. Stuck a 1000 UF 25 volt, no, that's an 820 UF 25 volt capacitor in the belly here. Nice, no smoke. This might be a really short flight. undo it quick in case of fire. Only the second time I plugged this in I haven't plugged it yet. And it's starting to rain. God. Scary. I believe this doesn't just burst into flames. Here comes the rain. Recording. All right, here we go. This will be a short flight. Man, I hope it doesn't catch on fire. Don't try this shit at home. It's stupid.
The ASCs ain't even hot. Motors are a little, a little warm. Yeah, not really. Mm. Six S on Speedix ES twenty amp ESCs. You seen it here first. Don't try this at home unless you just ain't worried about, you know burning up ESC. Like and subscribe y'all if you want to see some more stupid shit.